Hi guys, welcome to Sweezy by Sandy. I'm Sandy and today we are upgrading what is one of my favorite quilt blocks of all time. So we are taking a couple of pinwheel quilt blocks and we are turning them into disappearing pinwheel quilt blocks. Now I have to say, I'm not sure I'll be able to stop because there are just so many variants out there, all gorgeous and so much fun to make. Let's see where this takes us, shall we? Okay, let's start by making a pinwheel quilt block real quick. There's really nothing to it, you know, we just take two squares, a light one like this one, and a medium or a darker one. Now for my pinwheels, I always use white as the lighter fabric, but you can pick other light options if you prefer. We take these two squares and we join them right sides together, and then we sew all around, you know, all four sides. Let's do that. Okay, now for our next step, we just cut diagonally. Here we go. And now we have four smaller squares that feature both fabrics. Next step, we just press our seams like so. And now, of course, we have to trim them. You know, initially our square was six inches, okay? But now we have four three and three quarter inch squares and now we have to trim them. We look for the angle, the 45 degree angle, to match the seam and then we cut accordingly, trimming this end and this one right here. So now we already have two perfect corners. We just turn it around and we know these two are perfect. So we can line them up by the size we want. Oh, sorry. We can just line them up by the size that we want, which is this one, and cut all the remaining sides. Now we make our pinwheel like so, and then we sew it. And that's it, we have ourselves a lovely pinwheel quilt block. Now for what we're doing today, we are going to need, mm, I'm going to say 10 here. I think 10 is a good amount, and we can make them real quick, okay? Will you bear with me for all these? <laughs> or am I pushing it? Give me a second to sew these before we continue. What turns a pinwheel quilt block into a disappearing pinwheel quilt block? What exactly are we doing here? You know, when you take a pinwheel quilt block and cut into it and give it a different pattern, you know, when you change the position of some of the parts into something different, it becomes a disappearing pinwheel quilt block. And for most versions of the disappearing pinwheel quilt block, it starts with cutting our pinwheel into nine different squares, like we are going to do right now. Okay, so first we need to measure this block and find the points we need to be able to cut it evenly into three parts. And then we do the exact same thing and split it again into three. And that's how we are left with nine tiny squares while still keeping our small pinwheel, you know, at the center untouched. Here we go. So I'm doing 225. Oh, such a cutie. And now we cut these into three again. Let's keep it real simple here. Uh, maybe this one like this. Do these corners like so. And this, maybe. Um, yeah, something like this. What do you think? Cute, right? I think this works, do you agree? <laughs> I think it's super pretty. Okay, let's sew. Okay, so now our final steps are, of course, to press it and to trim all these edges off. And as I said earlier, we started out with six inch squares. So if you want your blocks to be a little bit bigger, you know, just try nine or so and it, they will grow a bit in size. These ones are going to be really tiny and cute, <laughs> but they are a bit harder to work with, of course. The bigger, the better. And that's it. Our first disappearing pinwheel quilt block is complete but we are just starting, so let's just get another one. Okay, now for this next one, I've sped things up a bit, and as you can see, I have already cut this pinwheel into nine tiny squares, so now all we have to do is pick what design we're going for. <laughs> mm, okay, I'm thinking I like this one. We can make a similar one to this. Uh, let's see. It's actually pretty simple, I think. We do like this. Oops, no, uh, no, uh, like this, okay. <laughs> so the strips are on the other side. The strips go out, the triangles go in. 
And yeah, that's pretty cute. We've got a cross right here and a nice little frame, kind of like a stop sign. I say we go with this one. And here it is, our second disappearing pinwheel quilt block, ready and looking so, so cute. This is wonderful. Okay, and I have our next pinwheel right here, already cut into nine, of course. So now we just need to decide what to make of it. You know, how this puzzle is going to go. Okay, let's do something different. Maybe like this. Or like this. That's kind of cute, don't you think? Kind of looks like candy, you know? <laughs> or maybe a ribbon? I don't know, but I like it. And I can't believe how easy this is being. I thought I would be unsure for like five minutes for each block, but you know, first try is the charm. It's going well. Let's sew this little beauty. Oh, I like this one. And that's done. Oh, so cute. <laughs> so far, I really can't decide what my favorite one is, but I am loving all of them. On to the next. Okay, how shall we change this one? You know, I love this fabric. It is one of my favorites from my stash and I sometimes don't use it because, you know, I just don't want it to end. Do you do that? You know, hoard your favorite fabrics to make sure you'll always have them. It's so crazy. Fabrics are born to be turned into something beautiful, but sometimes it's just so hard. Okay, let's find it the perfect design. Let's try and make a flower shall we? I think this fabric deserves a flower. So, um, petal, um, um, this one won't work. Um, this, so petal, two petals, three petals. And this one, I guess, like this. Does this look like a flower to you? Because it does to me. Okay, let's sew. And there we have it. Another tiny, tiny <laughs> disappearing pinwheel quilt block. And, you know, this is still giving me flower vibes, so I am keeping with it. It's a flower. Okay, guys, we are halfway there. This is our fifth variant, so we need to make it extra special. <laughs> let's see. Um, let's make some arrows, shall we? Start this. One arrow. Okay, or two arrows, uh, two, 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 okay, now this one needs to be here, this one needs to be here, just like that. Do you see the arrows? Isn't this the coolest thing? <laughs> I love it, love it, love it, love it, okay. Let's make ourselves, oops, let's make ourselves some arrows. So cute, I'm loving these arrows. <laughs> you know, fabric is something I could spend hours and hours just talking about. You know, my idea of heaven would be to have a room filled with fabric all the way to the top. You know, like a shop, but they would be all mine. <laughs> so these are disappearing pinwheel quilt blocks so far, and they are looking gorgeous. Do you agree? <laughs> Don't forget to let me know which ones are your favorites, because, you know, I would love to know. Now, the reason why I'm making these videos, you know, with these variants, is to show you that it doesn't take much to create something gorgeous. You don't have to spend, like, days or weeks just trying to investigate and figure out what is the best quilt block. Sometimes, all it takes is just, you know, Cutting some fabric, sitting in front of a sewing machine, and just doing it. You know, there are so many versatile quilt blocks out there, you don't need to make anything, you know, too crazy or too complicated. Sometimes, all it takes is to get fabric, cut into it, sew, and just see where it takes you. And as far as quilt blocks go, you know, your possibilities are truly endless. You know, these quilt blocks are all beginner level, you know, as you can see, you don't need to have a lot of experience to make them. And I guess one thing you need to be careful about is your cutting skills, <laughs> because the straighter the squares, the better the end result. But even then, you know, you can just trim them a little bit, you know, like I'm doing for all these blocks, and you should be fine. 
Okay, let's make something completely different. Uh, like this. Like this. This is quite a classic one, I think. I have seen it for the more traditional quilts, but you know, depending on the fabric you use, you can make it real modern or, you know, just traditional. What I mean to say here is, it's not just the design that makes the style of the block, it's also the fabric, you know, there's just so much going on. You can pretty much get a unique result no matter what you do. Come on, this is beautiful, right? Let's sew. And here is another one. Oh, so cute. I can't get over these blocks. I really love them. Okay, now so far I've decided to cut all my pinwheels into nine equal squares, but there are other ways to cut a pinwheel into a disappearing pinwheel quilt block. Let me show you one of those. We just cut our quilt block into strips like so. So this part does nothing to it. It's just like we've been doing, right? But now, what we do next is this. Well, not this, clearly. This. And this. So all we did here was change the direction of these two strips. And now we sew. And there you have it. Easy peasy, right? Okay, now this has actually made me think of another disappearing pinwheel quilt block we can make by cutting the block differently. Let me show you, okay? We are just going to cut the edges like so, and then we rearrange the whole thing. And then we sew. One and a half inches is enough. We just trim, and then we trim again. And again. Okay, now we just need to chop these points off, like this, into a tiny little square, and another tiny little square, like so. We're almost done with our trimmings, bear with me. Do it again. And, and again. Okay, so now we're left with all these pieces. We just mix them up like this, 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 and this. Oops. This one. And this, of course. And then we just make sure that these are also mixed. You know, you mix the white with the fabric and the fabric with the white, making sure they are all mixed up. See? Gorgeous. Let's sew this one. And again, cute. I just, I have no other words. Gorgeous, awesome, cute, cool. You take your pick. To me, they're all of it. <laughs> But I have to say, I like the ones with the nine squares better. <laughs> what do you think? Plus, I still have some cute designs in mind with those, so let's just do one more. Does this make sense? Okay, this is cute, right? Looks like kind of a fan. I like it. Okay. One more. And here is another one ready to go and looking gorgeous. <laughs> okay guys, we have finally reached our 10th pinwheel. And on one hand, I'm sad because I don't want it to end. On the other, I am kind of tired. Because, <laughs> you know, you're seeing the abridged version here. I've been doing this for a little bit longer <laughs> than you. <laughs> but I am having a lot of fun. So, yeah, maybe not keep doing this today, but maybe come back tomorrow and keep doing it. I don't know. Because, to be honest, there are just so many variants left. So, mon so many other things you could be doing with these pinwheels that I can't help to feel that we are missing some so yeah be there as it may 10 variation and this one needs to be special right it's it's our last one it needs to be extra special so I'm thinking we are going to make a star you know how much I love stars I did a bunch of them for vlogmas and I think it's fitting that we go out with a star okay let's cut them 
Uh, mm, let's see. Okay, so first let's take care of the corners. They are a little bit different from what we've made so far, but you know, that's the whole point of it, to make them all extremely different. So it will be worth for you to stick around and watch all of our variations until the end. You know, if they were all similar or something like that, you would probably have given up on me already. But if you're listening to this, it means you haven't. So it means you deserve something spectacular like this star. So happy I left this one till the end. Okay, let's sew this for the very last time. Oh, I'm sad. Tired but sad. And there you go guys, our last disappearing pinwheel quilt block. In my head, I, I was finishing sewing this one and I already had tons of other combos we could try. You know, we could go up to 20 or more for this video and I am just going to stop it now. <laughs> Okay, and here we have it, our tiny, tiny, tiny disappearing pinwheel quilt blocks. There's 10 of them. I will say I have cut like 13 <laughs> pinwheels and some ended up in the trash because I cut them wrong and did all sorts of mistakes. But you know, it doesn't really matter, that's not important. What's important is we have these cuties right here. Yeah, this one's definitely much tinier. <laughs> I have no idea how I did this. Guys, thank you so much for keeping me company. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I had a blast. <laughs> now, I'm not really quite sure what I'm going to do with all these blocks. They are too cute to just put away in a drawer, right? So if you have any ideas on what I should do, you know what to do. Just leave me a comment letting me know your opinion. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.